if you're nervous it means that you are experiencing something new in your life there is some change in your life and being nervous is a good thing because that is how you're going to build your confidence now let us look at why you are nervous let's look at it with the help of an example maybe you have to give a presentation and you are nervous about it now let's look at the three main causes that might be making you nervous number 1 negative comments from your inner voice number 2 not being confident about your subject and number 3 you're scared of facing people you don't want to hear negative comments from people so how do we tackle these three points your inner voice might be telling you that you're not good enough that you're not confident that you might get nervous looking at people you might fumble so what do you do the first thing you can do is give your inner voice a name you could call it sasha or misha or maybe mark or rob or kumar or whatever name you may want to give this in a voice so let me call this in a voice sasha so the moment your in a voice tells you that you're not good enough or that you're not prepared you have to talk to sasha tell sasha that sasha i am prepared I know my subject. If I have been selected to give this presentation, if I have been asked to give this presentation, it means that I am capable. My bosses consider me capable to give this presentation. So you have to talk to Sasha and tell Sasha that you are good enough and that you are prepared. Now coming to your preparedness if you are master of your subject if you are thorough with it if you have done a good study of it then you will have the confidence to answer the questions if any are put across to you you will be able to talk to the people you will be able to explain the points clearly but for that you need to go through your subject you need to go through your presentation you need to be a master of what you're going to talk about so spend some time on being prepared because that is extremely important and that will also give you great confidence if you are confident then half the battle is won now coming to the point about facing people you know when you are in that conference room or in that hall you are surrounded by people who are either reporting to you or their colleagues or they are your boss or your boss's boss they could be outsiders as well so you may or may not know the people you are facing today remember that you are the master of your subject and if you have this nervousness that you might fumble you can always carry a paper with you which has your notes and you are allowed to read from your notes it is okay to do so and the moment you look at all these people and you feel that you are blanking out or blacking out just look at the wall behind all these people just look at that wall concentrate focus on that wall and tell yourself i am the king of this room and this is my kingdom i know my subject and i am going to talk about my subject i am going to present to these people and i am going to do my best now you can read from your paper or you can read from the slides and if you are not comfortable looking at these people then you can focus mainly on the slides and just take a sweeping look across the room in between we all get nervous it's okay to do that it is okay to be nervous don't let it bog you down even if you fumble it's okay the next time you present it's going to be even better and with every presentation that you make you're going to get better so look out for opportunities to present more and more so that you can get more confident keep telling yourself that this is a challenge that you can ace and you are going to ace it 
and keep telling Sasha that you are the best and make every effort to prove to Sasha that you are indeed the best. So this is how you can help yourself to overcome your nervousness. So talk to Sasha. Don't let Sasha overpower you. Be a master of your subject and don't be scared of facing people. Look at the ways you can help yourself in that area. I hope this can help you overcome your nervousness. Let me know in the comments below if you need me to cover any other topic which is of interest to you. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like, comment and share with your friends. We'll meet soon next week. Till then, take care and goodbye. We'll meet soon. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.